Hello everyone, welcome back to Unidentified Flying Tardigrade Scientist. And, well, there's something I gotta talk about. Um, the new space engine was released a couple days ago. Actually, it was just two days ago, I think. And I did buy it. Well, you may be wondering, well, this doesn't look like space engine, well, the new space engine, and that's because, um, this is a old computer and it just wouldn't run it it cr it kept froze and it freezing um so yeah i just decided that i'd buy a new graphics card and so i'm using my birthday money to buy a gtx 1650 and that'll really improve these numbers up here um, so I'm looking forward to that, but before we'll arrive, I'm going to go on a trip for a week to, um, the Oregon coast, so. Um, I also adjusted a few things, so now this video may be higher quality than normal. Anyways, uh, I'm just, this is going to be the last time I'm going to be playing this version, well, I can, it's pretty boring compared to what the new one looks like, so, uh, I found a really, really nice planet that looks like it'd be like a second Earth, and it's actually in, like, a special procedural galaxy. Uh, RG0000 and you can see oh yeah I also turned off VSync because I noticed this, it doesn't ref affect the recording but it still boosts the frame rate so it may look half tearing for me but uh, I know it won't for you guys so it's always nice um, so if we do control G I figured out that that will send us to the center of the star. Or galaxy, I don't know why I said star. And so you can see this is supposed to be a black hole. Rotates really quick. Oh. You see it. The accretion disk. Uh, you may guy you guys may see some stuttering. Uh, I'm just gonna give up and uh oh yeah, um once you have gotten there you can do a quick search. Uh, you don't want any filters, just 10 light years. Uh, yeah, the program will freeze for a second. Oh. And then there's like 8,000 systems because it's like the center of this galaxy. And this is what we're looking for. Just click go to. I can't wait to see what this will look like in the new space engine but um for now well, let's just stop that search so it doesn't mess up anything uh you can see there's four plants with life you see our gas giants it's, it's really terrible but right here is what we're looking for it's a warm terra with life it's a really nice temperature and as you can see it it's very nice looking so I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know look for something oh you can see there's gonna be a lot of mountains here and way over here this entire planet is just beautiful even on my crap computer which won't be crap oh wow don't know what's going on. Um, 
it seems that I was in the air while I was rotating. Let's see, it's this is actually really cool. Um, oh wow, it looks like a fractal. And I guess you could sort of say it is because it's like procedural. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry for the terrible frame right there. You can actually go to these mountains. Ooh. See, they're so big and tall. Oh, wow. You see, the details keep coming in. And I just can't wait to see things like this in the new Space Engine once I get my graphics card. And the quality of my videos will be a lot better. This is very jagged and sharp. And go uh, fast. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm not surprised that there's life here. You can sort of see the developers had like a picture of like some clovers or something. And use that as like a texture here. So uh, that's just going to be a short video. Oh, so pretty. I'm just going to go. Oh, sorry for that terrible stuttering. But, um,. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have dual monitor set up right now, so it's a little weird. Oh, ho, ho. Um, unidentified flying tardigrade scientist out.